Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Today is Tuesday as I try and get his key out of this car. Um, it is my first day of work and I put my hair back again. I gotta go get my clearance done today. Um, I got a lot of stuff that I gotta do today. Put all my paperwork in. And then, yeah, so I'm excited. It is 8.05 right now. I have to be there at 8.30, but I'm literally just sitting here in the car right now waiting because I don't want to get in there too early. Um, I woke up this morning and the kids were like, because I've been running a business out of my house. And so the kids are like, for like the last eight years, and the kids are like, mom, what are you doing? And I was like, what do you mean? What am I doing? I'm getting ready for work. You're getting ready for like to leave the house to go to work or like to work here. And I was like, no, to leave, I got to work at the hospital. And they're like, whoa, like you're a hot mom. <laughs> so that made me feel really, really good. Um, I did put my hair back again because, and I did my makeup, um, because I wanted to feel good. And I mean, if I have to take my badge picture, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do, then I want to make sure that I do that feeling good about myself. So I'm going to get in here and I hope everybody's doing wonderful this morning. If you are new here, I am Lorelai. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, I believe that you're not perfect. I'm not perfect and nobody is perfect. And that is perfectly okay because in this world, there's nobody that is perfect. So don't let them fake the funk and get your day started. Be you. Understand that things happen in life. Um, the reason that I came and got another job was because money's tight right now and we're trying to buy a house and a new car and our car just broke down on us. If you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. Um, I will link it here. So again, I'm excited. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to go and get this day started. I think I might have to work tonight and take on a shift tonight is what they said. We will see. I don't know. Um, so, all right, guys. Um, if you pray, pray for me. If you don't, wish me luck. I'm excited. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to go. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Well, hello, everybody. It is later on in the day. I am headed to work um, for my first day. My graveyard shift. Um, I tried to sleep. I was off and on. Of course, you know, kept getting interrupted by the kids. The honey tried to do his best, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm tired already, but you do what you can do, and you do what you gotta do in order to make a living and make money. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I am, I'm only about, like I said, two minutes away from the hospital, and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go potty, and then I am going to go sit at the front desk and do my clock in and all my stuff I need to do and prepare. Um, I got some good news about the HR position that I'm going to be getting. We're going to put that into the universe. Um, so, I got my Starbucks cup. Filled it with some tea, some peach tea and some ice. Hopefully that will keep me awake more. Um, but yeah, so I just left my hair the way I had it. I don't want to fuss with it. Took my jewelry off other than this ring. This is the one that my honey found me when I was pregnant in Mexico. He found it way out in the ocean. So I say it's my good luck ring. And then of course my engagement ring. Um, I need to find some new studs. But, whew, sorry, we're gonna get this day started. And I will check back in with you guys a little bit later, either on a break or on my lunch. I'm not really sure what time I'm gonna get those, but I was told since it's dark, I needed to park in front of the ER emergency entrance. Oh, it is packed. Oh my God, it is packed. Well, that's fun. You know, rain brings on accidents. Ugh. All right, let's get
get this day started and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. All right, it is 3.15 a.m. and I am barely taking my 30 minute lunch break. Um, it has been an eventful night between bar fights and <laughs> other stuff that I can't really talk about, but I'm sitting here doing good so far. Been snacking on protein. I had a salad out of the cafeteria and I think I'm doing okay for now. I know it's gonna hit me as soon as I like get home, but this is the break room. They have one lounge chair in here. And I'm sitting here. And yeah. So, I will keep you guys posted. I yawn here and there. Like, I feel like I'm going to yawn right now. <sighs> but, I kind of wish they had a TV in here. I think I'll find something on my phone. I have like 26 minutes left. So, I just wanted to keep you guys posted. All right guys, talk to you in a little while. All right guys, I got like 10 or 12 more minutes to go on my break. And it is about three, almost 3.30, a little bit, I don't know. I think what's making me tired is just sitting here, but it's giving me time to think, like, I'm so grateful um, to have gotten this position, <clears throat> and I'm even more grateful to hopefully be able to get a higher position. Um, I did not realize there was a TV behind me, but it's also making me think, like, it's really hard. Like, it's hard being a mom and a dad, and it's, you gotta sacrifice stuff like sleep and everything else just to provide for your kids. And most of us weren't born into families where we get money i wasn't i don't even have a family um so it's like i'm trying to give my kids everything that i didn't have so it's really really hard i'm gonna go home at six Excuse me, I'm going to wake up the kids for school and then actually I don't have to wake them up today. The honey has an another interview actually so I get to go home and go to sleep for a little while. Um, but Normally, I'll go home at 6, then I will get the kids ready for school, but well, they can get themselves ready, then I'll take them to school, go home, make the baby something to eat for breakfast, and then probably spend some time with her and then put her down for a nap. I'm going to take a nap after that, and then she will end up getting back up, and... I will be up probably until about 5 when the hubby gets home from work, 5 or 6. Then I will end up going back to sleep and starting my nights all over again. So that's how this is going to work. Um, it's starting to hit me. Oh. It's starting. I'm so grateful for everything that God has given me because 
Actually, I'm grateful for everything that I've worked for. Not that God has given me because I've worked for everything. So I am grateful for everything that I have worked for. All the pain and suffering I've ever been through and I've survived, I'm grateful for it. And if they asked me if I would like to start over, I would say no. I went through what I went through in my life for a specific reason. And I really don't know what it is. I don't know what my purpose is right now, but I wouldn't change it. No, I wouldn't. So I'm probably going to go back right now. I got a lot of stack of paperwork to do right now for admitting. Um, I got a lot. I finished a lot of it, but there's still a lot to go. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a little while. All right, guys, good morning, I should say. I am home. I had a shower. It is 6.30, no, 45 in the morning. I'm going to try and get some rest. Everybody is still sleeping. The honey has to go to his interview. I'm not even tired, but I'm going to try and lay down and get some sleep and some rest since the baby's still sleeping. I just wanted to end this video and give you guys something to watch in real time. Well, real time, I guess you can say, because I'm not going to edit this video. Um, thank you for coming along with me on my journey on my very first day. I work graveyard shifts for the next two weeks um, with one day off, I believe. So, wish me luck, and I'm going to get some sleep. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. This is pretty much a close-up. But we will talk to you guys later, and I will bring you guys along next time. Alrighty.